on everybody today we have the I guess it's not really new <laughs> given that this thing was in every horizon game except five until now but here we are with the 1973 1973 Pontiac Trans Am you know I love these things because I have one in real life My, mine's a bit newer though mine's a 94 <clears throat> but I love my Pontiacs. So let's get straight into the upgrades for this thing. Got some, got quite a few engine swaps it looks like. Got the racing V8, got V10, 7 liter V8, diesel, a 6.2, an 8.9 liter. That is huge. We're putting it in. <laughs> see, arrow. I doubt, yeah. I kind of figured. I, I doubt anything had really changed as far as, as the arrow on this car. Yeah, it's all about, it's all about the same. 8.9 liter, dude. That is massive. 8.9 liter is massive. Let's see wheels. I kind of like the old, like normal stock wheels on here. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it up a wee bit here. Wanna, want something like a little more modern. Something kind of like these? No. I want something a little more depth. Kind of like these, but not those. Hmm. I think it's something with some depth. It's a weird word, right? Depth. Anyway. Oh, where's some like five spoke, some ten spoke wheels with some depth? Kinda like these, these don't look horrible. I want something I want something kinda like this. But with some some more depth, kinda like these. Maybe the multi piece wheels will have something. Actually that that's not bad. I think I might go with that. Uh We got here. Oh, oh. Okay. Now let's add more depth. Ah, uh, no more depth. Oh my God. Well, there's some wide boys back there. Some thick old tires. How many extremely buff ponies? Fifteen hundred. 1500 horsepower that's ridiculous I love it I'm about to go crazy with this car <laughs> yo these look wicked I don't really like it on this car but these look wicked oh there we go those are the ones Maybe something a little bigger than a 15. Yeah, 17s look all right. And you, when, it's like once you get to 18, for some reason, those actually don't even look all that bad. I might go in 18. I don't know what it is about this game. Like 20s do not look that big. Actually, the 18s do seem somewhat large. We'll, we'll drop it back down to 17. Dude, I feel like this thing's about to be 
wicked, like, 1500 horsepower. This thing is about to be wicked. Listen to that chop. Like in the exhaust, oh my goodness. Gotta get that lowered. Race suspension's all the way over here. Okay. Put that on, right? Oh, damn. No, I didn't. Okay. I think the one problem I'm noticing. Okay, never mind. I just kind of did away with that. I was like, it's like really low S2. And, huh. I have the feeling that this car is going to be just one of those ones that just burns and burns and burns. Wheels do not grip, so we're putting a roll cage in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay now for the design I, I have a feeling that the paint jobs are going to be the same just like the normal like the red the white and then the red and orange the like white and blue and then the green yep right on the money okay I do like the green um, I, when it comes to the, the firebirds and the trans -Ams, I've always been a white and blue guy, because my actual, like, IRL one's white and blue, but something about this green, I don't know what it is, but something about this green, like, I'm a white and blue guy, through and through, but something about this green, just speaking to me, gotta tint our windows, let's see, we gotta paint our wheels, See, I got like a nice bronze. I feel like a nice bronze wheel would really accent this green. Kind of like that, to be honest. The, uh, the like yellowish carbon. Let's see, where's the bronze? I want bronze wheels. There we go. That don't look bad. Maybe something like that. Okay, no. It's like too pink. The copper is like a rose gold. that I kind of like that I'm not a big bronze wheel guy but on some cars and colors it's just it like it looks great and I'm kind of iffy on this like let's see if I can make it like if I go orange like an orangish red this kind of Cut that. Drop that a bit. That just looks tan. I don't know, if I really like sat here and tweaked with the color for like an hour, I bet I could probably get something. Because like... This isn't quite bronze, it's... It's uh, it's like not dark enough. It needs to be just like a little bit darker. What if what about these hot wheels colors? I don't know they gotta have something. It needs to be like this. Um but maybe like a bit lighter. I don't know, almost it's like almost like the orange. Like that kind of. But honestly I kinda like the stock wheels for now. Uh so we're just gonna leave it like that, but we're this car will have bronze wheels. <laughs> Mark my words, this car will have bronze wheels if we ever do a build on it or something. This car is going to have bronze wheels if you see it again. That's a big if because I'm not sure I'm going to do anything with this car given that nothing has really changed. But 1500 horsepower is bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. This thing isn't even like built or tuned to be a drag car, but I, I have to know. The straight build, no tune. That that's actually pretty fast. It's like 200 through the through the trap. That's pretty quick for. It's like say it's okay. So I say I swap the tires, pull the roll cage. Adjust the suspension and all that neat stuff. This thing would be 
bonkers. Like, as a drag car. Just come flying through here. I guarantee I could probably get this thing up to like 215 through the trap if I really wanted to. Alright, now let's just see how... So we're going to take it around the this route, the Horizon Mexico route, just because I know it. But yeah, this car is... I might be tripping, but I thought I heard a supercharger whine. When I gas it out of this turn, we're going to find out. I can't really tell, but it kind of sounds like it. So, classic American ideology back then. Bigger engine, more power. <laughs> that was basically it, like... You had Dodge putting like north of 8 liter engines in their cars and everybody was kind of doing that because what the the Trans Am Super Duty had a big engine uh, I want to say it was like just under an 8 liter if I'm not mistaken if that was the Super Duty I'm pretty sure it was I'm pretty sure it was the Super Duty had the big engine but one one of them I know had a big engine and I'm pretty sure it was like a 7.9 oh yeah this thing drives great I remember back in like Horizon 4 like this thing did not drive all that great like it was alright Yeah, and Horizon 4 was like, alright. But this thing is taking corners like a champ. I think that, like, we could really rival that Camaro with this thing if we put, like, Race Arrow and all that on it and get it going. As a full on track car, we could, I feel like we could definitely rival that Camaro. It's like I keep saying, I'm not gonna do builds on this car because, I mean, like, it's not really a new car, but then I just keep getting these ideas of builds for this car, like a drag car, <laughs> a track car. I, I'm the creativity, the creativity machine is a rolling. The, the creativity train has left the station. It's 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 moving. I'm getting ideas. Wow, this thing is sick. Now if we just get some good looking wheels on here, or not even good looking wheels, but like some, like a better color. Cause the, I like this, the chrome, or like this, the bare metal on the lip. But that black just doesn't accent the green very well. Like it looks good. But, man do I miss this car. I was thinking about it like, a week or two before it was announced that this car was coming back I was like man I wish I, I had the 73 because I was going through the uh, some old screenshots on Horizon 4 and I was like man I wish I had that 73 in Horizon 5 and like a week or two after that they announced the 73's coming back which I oh man am I glad to have this thing back but anyway that is about it for me today hope to see you guys soon in the next video I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, that's about it for me today I'm gonna do some donuts right here right now just gotta end off all the videos with some big old donuts especially in a Trans Am it'd be a crime if we didn't do donuts in a Trans Am Okay, this road's kind of narrow, so I guess, let's see. Let's see if we can get some going right here. Into the dirt. <laughs> Alright, that's all from me.